Hello folks and welcome. So Debian 12 Bookware, the official copy of Debian 12 XFCE desktop. Using a 6.1 series kernel, today I'm going to talk about power icons. That shut down now. If you double click, we'll power down the system, no questions asked. And the same thing with the reboot, it'll power down and then restart the computer. I'm going to show you how to create these things. I'm also going to show you that you can turn these into icons on your panel and add some extra ones. And these will have timers on them. These, not so much. So welcome folks. I am filming, if I can uh, find my area here, 1920 by 1080. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 so you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary, since a lot of them default to 460. I'm gonna hit Alt and F4. So I have a shutdown now, a reboot now, and a multi logout key. And I'll also, I have a text file here too. This icon is not where you subscribe. This is just a PNG image. That icon there, the round icon you should find in the corner where you can click to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you currently are a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. What do you find on Linux for Seniors if you click that to subscribe? Over 250 videos on all kinds of Linux subject matter. Linux is for any age, but the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. I encourage that you check my About section and also the Community tab for further information. If you do not see this icon down here, you're watching this on someone else's channel. All right, so this one I can't click, unfortunately, but I will show you the commands and how to alter these icons. Same thing with this one, but I can click this one. You can create that one in less than seven seconds. You can put it anywhere on your desktop. It won't look like this, though. Then I'm going to talk about this, or you can add some additional buttons and make it into buttons and then move it on your panel. Let's start with what these are. These are launchers. And the commands that I have for these things are in this text file. Okay. I'm going to demo the shutdown command, restart or reboot, the multifunction, and a fast logout. Actually, that one I'm just going to make mention of. All right. So let's create one of these multi log. This one here. How do you do that? Right click on your desktop. This is Debian 12 Bookworm. You may be used to a different uh, XFCE desktop. Type in LOG, it's the second item on this one. On some of the other ones, it may be item three or four. Again, some of these XFCE desktops are slightly different. I want you to notice that it, it actually made the comment and a command and gave me an icon. I'm gonna hit create twice. Double click just to test it. It's the same as this one. Right click. Edit Launcher. So that one has a comment. Right click, Edit Launcher. That one doesn't have a comment. That has a different name. But it is the same command. Okay. XFCE4 Session Logout is the full command for that. You can click this icon also to change it if you don't like it. I want you to notice how big this one is to compare to that one. So let me discuss that first. Right click on your desktop, desktop settings, icons. Mine are currently set to 170. It's fairly large, that's why these are big. I'm also using a custom font called 20. If I turn that off, you'll see all that stuff get reduced. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. Now I do have single click to activate items turned off to, um, well, to minimize some of the mistriggerings. You may still get that occasionally. When you're dragging these around, they may trigger. What do you think this one will do if it mistriggers? It will power down my system instantaneously, no questions asked. Same thing goes with the reboot. So be careful when you move these, if you move them. Okay, so be very careful with these. So save all your files before using any power-related keys including this one, okay? But I'm not stuck with this size. I can also right click and hit properties and click that icon and find something bigger. 
I don't know about the trophy. I don't think it's big enough, but it's fairly big. What's in an icon? It doesn't really matter because the launcher is still giving me the logout command. That's the most important thing for you to understand. That's why I chose a different icon on this one. Now I'm going to erase that. So this icon here is shut down now. I got to be careful with it, but more importantly, right click, edit launcher. It's using an XFCE4 session logout halt fast. Let me open this up. So the command for shutting down your computer is XFCE4 dash session dash logout space double dash halt space double dash fast. This is not everybody's cup of tea. But if you want to know how to do that, just follow this. Restart or reboot, whatever name you want to give it. But the command for that is xfce 4 session logout space double dash reboot space double dash fast. Restart or reboot, whatever name you want to give it. The command is reboot. The multifunction just means something you click on. Again, you don't need to do this command because I showed you how to do that by right clicking, creating a launcher and typing in LOG. And when you click the second item, that's the same command as that. All right, now I'm going to hit cancel. Now I'm not going to demo this, but if you want a fast logout icon, what do I mean by that is I'll just make a demo on this one. If you want one of these on steroids that logout, then you create this one here. Let me find the text file. So that one basically has the same command as the multifunction, but you're adding the space double dash logout again, double dash fast. And what it does is it logs you out to your logout screen almost instantaneously. Keep in mind, save your files before using any of these functions. All my videos have timelines and chapters. So you see this one here, I'm already in edit mode. So let's right click on this again. And uh, we can, you know, create another launcher if you like. But uh, more importantly, all you need is a name and a command and then an icon. What if you don't choose an icon? Well, I'm going to cheat and actually just highlight this line here because I just don't want to retype this. If you don't mind, I'm going to just do a control C. And um, I will, um, I need to get rid of the enter key. There we go. Um, so because I copied it out of a text editor anyways, um, so give it a name. So you can put an X if you like. But the, if you don't use an icon, what happens is, first of all, you need to make sure you typed it incorrectly. So it's XFCE4 session dash logout, blah, blah, blah. All right. No icon produces this. If you're OK with that, this will still work just like this one. You can also right click if you change your mind and click that and go ahead and pick an icon. What's in an icon, right? Well, some of them are bigger than others. So that's the power cord. That's the same one I used on that one. But there are some that, uh, what are we dealing with? We're dealing with, uh, are we dealing with shutdown? I think so. All right, so we have the red one here. Keep in mind, both of these are the same. I think I'm using the shutdown command on this one. Let's see if it's a halt. if it has halt on it. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so that these two are identical, even though it's just called X. I'll just rename that if you like. Okay, so we'll just call that one um, power off. Now, just so you understand that these are instantaneous. All right, so these two again are, are the same, but the only difference is this has a dinky icon and that has a bigger one. And why is that? It's because of the icon size itself. Okay, so um, the desktop settings haven't changed. I'm still at 170. That's why some of these icons are big and some of them are not so much. So I'm going to hit properties and click that just to give you the application certificate. You can see how large it is. Because I'm not making any changes. Here's what the calculator looks like. Okay, so however, the shutdown panel looks a little bit bigger. This one here. 
Okay. So if you're okay with that one, that one would be good to go. So I use that also on the reboot. Now the reboot uses a different command. The front part is still the same, except it says reboot double dash fast with that icon. Now, how do you how do you do your own icons? Well, you can either download them off the internet, make them yourself. Now, I have two of these, which I edited through GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop. All of my videos that you will find on my current channel, Linux for Seniors, have been edited with GIMP. My previous channel ran for years, and I had 450 videos. We're also done with GIMP. All right, and now I also edit these icons in GIMP. So I am going to click that and show you what the other one looks like. Image files. I happen to just bring in this folder, S-H-U-T. So um, the cool thing about the search feature, you just start typing. So this one here has a white border. This one is what you're looking at right here. Yes, you may be able to see a white border, but it's meant to look like that. So it has a rim on it, in other words, just like this one does. This one, on the other hand, will actually give you a square box. So when you're looking for icons online, you may have, um, here's your reboot now, that's what we're editing, not this one. And um, now I got a white box. So if you're, you can actually, if you get icons with white boxes, if you know how to do this, you can go into GIMP and, and clean that up. But more importantly, if you are in the fresh market and don't know how much or too much about editing icons, you can certainly find those online and download them yourself. Or just choose something from the system, which I'm about to do here. Okay, so we have um, a couple of things. It's just an icon, as they say. It's a nice big one. Is there an actual reboot icon? I believe so. It looks like that. And it's green. And it's small. We could leave it like that if you like. But again, it's just an icon. Anything in here is available for you. I'll leave the hard hat. Let's talk about this over here. I am going to move these out of the way. So I will push them downstairs so it doesn't confuse you. I'm dealing with the panel now. I, I will move him over here. So Sam is our user for today. I'll open up the file manager. So Sam is the name of the user and your name of your user will also be here when you install this Debian 12 XFCE desktop. And uh, depending on, I don't remember the exact default icons, but I think there's at least three here. And then one of them will be a multifunction, I think. And the other one is a restart and shutdown. I am going to right click and move this out of over here. Okay, the text file is still open. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna close that. So this is over here now. So right click properties. I'm gonna turn this from session menu into buttons. So all I did was flip that from session menu to action buttons, and these buttons appeared. Now I want you to also notice before I close this box, is I have switch user, which I just activated. I have suspend and hibernate. Did you choose those options during your installation? If you don't, then don't expect these to work, okay? But the buttons are here nonetheless. And then under most default conditions, I think if you add this manually, this is normally off, but this are the basic functions. Now this will be a 30 second shutdown and a 30 second restart. There's also two logout. I'll demo both of them for you. One is a multifunction, the same thing as this. And the other one is a logout that has a 30 second timer, which is the bottom one. So I'm gonna close that box. This is the 30 second logout, just in case you want that. This is the multifunction one, which is standard. This re, um, restarts your system in 30 seconds. This one does it instantaneously, whatever icon that you threw at it. This shutdown shuts down the system in 30 seconds unless I click or cancel. This shuts down the system instantaneously, so does that. And uh, then we have hybrid sleep, hibernate, 
and the rest of this stuff. So again, you can choose to move them as a set. If you like, just find a red line and drop it there. You can choose to collapse the tree by doing action button to session menu and turns it into that. If you feel more comfortable moving it around and you can certainly move it wherever you find a red line, like right there or turn the buttons on. So now these are your, your uh, workspaces up here. All right. Again, this is uh, maybe to some folks, this is probably not necessary, but I thought I'd show it anyways. And if you find that it's a button that you don't use uh, very often and you want to add um, or reduce the real estate up here, then go ahead and turn this off. Now we get an extra slot. Now this is the multifunction one. Dedicated 30 seconds. Dedicated restart 30 seconds. Instantaneous. Instantaneous reboot. Instantaneous shutdown. Instantaneous shutdown. Multifunction. One more time. I'll blow this back up. Shutdown command is this one. Restart or reboot command is this one. Multifunction is this one. If you want a fast logout, you can create it with a launcher, is to type that in your command field. The double dash logout fast, all it does is it logs you out like you're on steroids. It's a really quick logout. Thank you for watching.